Some events to look forward to at Woodland Park Zoo, though, and here to tell us what is in store is Ambassador Animal Keeper Susie Semler here. Hi there. Hi, good morning. So, Susie, Susie you have a special guest with you there. Cisco. Who's here? You got it. This is Cisco, and he is a 34 year old Harris's hawk. 34 years it. old. He looks great for his age. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. So, yeah. and, and he has a very flexible neck, it looks like. He's turning almost all the way around. <laughs> Yes, birds have very flexible necks. It really gives them the advantage so they can really see everything that's going on around them. And Harris hawks have some of the best vision out of any bird, so he's not going to miss a thing this morning. And uh, so where is a Harris hawk native from? These guys are native to uh, really kind of the southwestern United States, so Arizona, New Mexico, that area. And you know, they're, they're pretty known for the fact that they hunt together in groups. Most raptors are solitary, but these are more social birds. They work co cooperatively to bring down their prey and also just to do day-to-day -day life together. Very cool. So um, what is happening out there at the zoo? You have some uh, big things happening starting next month and also on May 1st. Yes, you got it. Cisco and I are here today to tell you about the exciting things coming to the zoo. So even though it doesn't exactly feel like spring today, spring is right around the corner and the zoo will be extending our hours starting May 1st. You can come in at 930 and stay until 6 p.m. And there are so many things to see. We're going to have keepers doing all sorts of chats. So if you want to get up close and personal and learn more about our individual species like Cisco or any of our other animals like the maned wolves or the red pandas, now will be a great time to do that. Um, guests can also participate in special experience with the giraffe and the rhinos. And so things are just, they're opening up again. We're so excited for the return of a lot of things to the zoo. Um, one of the things that I know people are really excited about and I'm excited about personally is that our pollinator garden and the butterfly tent will be opening up on Memorial Day weekend. So that is just around the corner. We've been waiting for that for a couple of years now and uh, people will be excited to see those things as well. Yeah, um, there's also some zoo babies going on right now. Zoo babies. Um, so you can also come. Yes, zoo babies. Spring is in the air. I don't know if you heard, but we had two adorable sloth cubs. Sorry, sloth bear cubs <laughs> born about three months ago. And while they've been behind the scenes with mom, they're going to be making their debut pretty soon here. So soon enough, you'll be able to see them climbing around the exhibit and doing adorable sloth bear things, um, as well as we have some on otter pup that was born also. Otter Pops, not to be confused with Otter Pops. Um, the uh, historic carousels, <laughs> there's something happening there as well? Yes, the carousel is back open again. Uh, and again, I know kids will be very excited to see that carousel back open. I know they've been waiting a long time for that. It's our historical carousel. They can choose whichever wooden, beautiful mare or animal they'd like to ride on that carousel and give that a whirl. Yeah, there, well, it's got to be so exciting for everybody there at the zoo to, to welcome guests back, you know, in full force, in person. We have zoo tunes coming up as well. It's got to be really exciting. Yes, exactly. We're excited to be open and running again, and we just have so many opportunities for people to get up close with animals and see the zoo in a way they haven't for the past two years. Well, Susie and friend, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. Have a great day. And you do the same. Susie Sumler with Woodland Park Zoo. Okay.